In this video, we're going to show you how to add a BMP180 sensor with Cayenne. So you can see here we have a live mobile app dashboard with the BMP180 sensor, and you can see how the temperature changes all in real time. So items you'll need for this. Let's start with a Raspberry Pi with Cayenne installed, GPIO ribbon cable, Pi cobbler, breadboard, the BMP180 temperature and barometric pressure sensor, and six wires. So first connect your BMP180 sensor to your Pi. A couple of notes before you get started. Make sure your Raspberry Pi is powered off when connecting wires. When using a GPIO ribbon cable, make sure the power wire, if it's a different color than the others, is connected to the corner of your Raspberry Pi and the top of your Pi cobbler. The provided diagram is just an example of how to connect the sensor. Feel free to do what works best for you. Some full-size breadboards, have a power line that is separated in the middle. If this is the case, be sure your sensors are connected on the same half of the breadboard as your Pi cobbler. Step 1. Connect the 3 volt power from your Pi cobbler to the power line on your breadboard. Step 2. Connect BMP180 VIN pin to the power line on your breadboard. Step 3. Connect the ground pin from your Pi cobbler to the ground line on your breadboard. Step 4. Connect BMP180 GND pin to the ground line on your breadboard. Step 5. Connect SCL pin from BMP180 to SCL pin on Pi Cobbler. Step 6. Connect SDA pin from BMP180 to SDA pin on Pi Cobbler. And step 7. Double check wiring. Power Pi back on and add the BMP180 sensor to your dashboard. This is what the finished product looks like with the sensor connected to your Pi. Now it's time to open your Cayenne app and add the BMP180 sensor. So tap the app icon, tap add device, Tap View All Sensors, tap the Temperature Sensor. If you want, you can view the tutorial again, view the data sheet. So enter the widget name. Here we're going to do BMP180. Choose a type of widget. We're going to go with the graph. Choose the icon, thermometer, and with the zero reading for altitude. Tap Add Sensor. Now it's successfully added to your project. And voila, there it is. It's added to your dashboard. You can start recording the reading. To see more videos, go to community.mydevices.com.